In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how I run the best offense and defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a live online match here of Mutt Head to Head, and just basically break down some different tips and strategies as we can go throughout this gameplay. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about helping you become a better Madden player in Madden 21, so make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. That's going to be able to get you access to all of the videos that I produce. I produce about... Um, eight videos every single day uh, just breaking down just different gameplay just different strategies and tutorials and things like that so again a lot of stuff a lot of content let's just dive right in now on offense i'm running the bunch tight end uh, offensive ebook that you can pick up in the description i just released it um i think i just released it like friday uh, it might have been on saturday i can't remember uh one of those two days but anyway i released it this weekend um so you can pick that up if you want that link is in the description it's just 15 bucks and then the defense that i'm running is the um nickel 335 wide which i've been running for a while it's been the best defense in madden all season long and it's not any exception right now uh, a lot of people are starting to catch on that this defense is absolutely insane so you can find this ebook as well in the description um, i also have a free nickel 335 wide sample which if you want to shoot me a text message i can shoot you a link to that as well my number is also in the description or in the top left hand corner of your screen in case you have any questions all right, guys, so first drive starting out, just kind of trying to get a feel for what he does. I really like to just run two-man. I, I will run a lot of two-man uh, on the first drive just to kind of see what he does. Um, the, the routes that he's running on the field are not going to be that great against two-man under. So we're going to be able to sit in this for a while at least. Uh, obviously, we would get that stop on the first drive. Now, this offense that I've been running is absolutely um, just a ridiculously good offensive ebook, and this will... I mean, literally, you're going to notice that the offense is going to be very, very simple. It's going to seem very similar. Um, but at the end of the day, this offense is, in my opinion, the best offense in Madden. Uh, my favorite play to run from this offense is the curl flat corner, which you'll see me run a lot in this game. I've actually got a new setup I'm working on out of it. So some really good stuff. Anyway, let's just dive right in. And you'll see this corner route to Moss is absolutely insane. It's, an, it's the best corner route in Madden, in my opinion. Um, and you will notice that I will go to that over and over and over again. So that being said, guys, if this is... Um, your first time catching the offense, just take a look at how simple this is. You don't have to like flip the play. You don't have to do anything. You just line them up and you just roll. Um, this corner, like I see here, is the best. Even on the short side of the field, it's really, really good, um, as you can see. So, very good offensive start, very good defensive start. Um, and really, until someone forces me to change what I'm doing, I'm not going to change it. Um, I find that that is really important for me, uh, just Madden-wise. Now, yes, there's constraint theory plays, and what I mean by that are those are plays that are designed to just change it up. So, for example, um, on defense, I might just switch up and run some cover three or some cover four, or I might run a man blitz or something just to kind of change it up, right? But my core defensive philosophy is to play, you know, two-man under press, shade underneath coverage with the deep blues. I think that's just a tough defense to beat for one play um, over the top. And, again, that's, you know, to me, defense is all about can you hold them to field goals. Um, you know, you're not necessarily going to shut people out all the time. But if you can just hold them to field goals, I think that's – um, you know, a good place to start. So I'm going to shade underneath man coverage a lot in this game uh, and just see here. He's going to throw me another one here on this quick slant. Um, a lot of people say they can't stop quick slants. In my opinion, that's the best way to stop it. Um, essentially, you're going to play man press coverage out of two man under, and then you're just going to essentially shade coverage, um, shade your coverage inside and underneath, and then you can just use her whatever slant comes open. Sometimes one or two of them will come open, but. Anyway, so far, pretty much a perfect start to the game uh, for the offense and the defense here. And you're going to see that curl flat corner corner one more time here. Now, again, this curl flat corner is probably best to the wide side of the field, but it's still you can still run it to the short side. And he's just not going to get out of this cover two. And he's going to get the luckiest interception of his career. A little throw out a sack pick right to him. I had the touchdown right over the top. So that's all right. That's on me. I should have I should have seen him shed. And I should have just taken the sack. Like, sometimes I think it's really important, you know, to do little things like that in a game. Um, especially this year where, like, it's just the, the sheds are so good. Uh, shed defense, in my opinion, is the best way to play. Uh, I think that's just hard to uh, beat. So, 
anyway, we're going to do some of that right now. And he's going to hit DK Metcalf over the middle. Good read by him. But, but like, if you see someone instant shed you, instead of just trying to throw it, unless it's, like, fourth down, obviously, um, it might be worth it just to take the sack. Like, just go ahead and just take the sack. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, and here he's going to throw us another one. So defense is three for three, and that's what's so good about this defense. It just gets turnovers. Like, three, three, four, five wide is not by any means – um, you know, designed to be a super blitz happy defense, it certainly can send pressure. Um, and it does have very good pressure from it, but really, and it's not even necessarily designed to be a super coverage defense, it's just designed to be a phenomenal defense. It does a little bit of both, and it does them really, really well. And it also gives you um, just the best personnel possible on the field. So, this is really what we were trying to do last time. As you see, that corner rock gets over the top of that cloud flat, and we're able to cook the zone coverage right there now he's ran cover two i'm pretty sure every single time so this is where i really like to go to the setup out of pa cross um if he goes to man coverage he might just you know he might just have us we do have playmaker on uh, mclaurin here but if you watch this corner route and he is going to run cover two again and we're going to another throw out a sack pick i'm not, i literally just told uh told you guys that I need to not do that. Another lucky interception for him. Um, that's on me. That's on me, man. You know, I saw the block sheds. If you see the block sheds and they're bearing down on you, unless it is fourth down, just take the sack. I'm telling you right now, it is super, super important to do that. I don't have, um, I don't have any abilities on my offensive line, so that's part of it too. Uh, I thought about putting abilities back onto them, but just haven't done it there. And there you see, there's the defense. It's just good. It's just, it's just, this defense is just tough to tough to beat, in my opinion. Um, this man coverage, mm -hmm. uh, especially you know if someone doesn't know what they're doing, that's why it's kind of the meta. In my opinion, the meta is designed really to beat not necessarily great players, but really, you're you're running the meta because you're trying to force somebody. Um, to have to adjust to it, and that's really all, we're, all we're really trying to do with that. And I kind of use a jab, 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 right hook philosophy. Like right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go and um, I'm gonna go ahead and send some pressure um, and try to get that. And he actually ended up going to the drag route. It's actually a pretty good read by him. But the jab, 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 right hook philosophy is basically I'm gonna run the same thing three times, and then I might change it up. Um, and I don't do that 100%. But I think that's a decent rule of thumb. It's just a rule of thumb. It's nothing more than that. But you see, like, right here, I'm going to shoot some more pressure his way. And you see how those man coverage can really catch up to the defender uh, or to the to the receiver really, really well if he doesn't hit it, like, right when he needs to uh, hit it. Now, here what we're going to do is go with a little bit of Mabel coverage just because of, the, just because of what his tendencies is. Um, unfortunately, our, our coverage jacked up, so... Let's see here. And that should be a pick. That should have been an interception. That's okay. So Simmons played really, really good. And zone is kind of the exception. I won't run much zone. I used to run a ton of zone. Lately, I haven't ran a ton of zone coverage. Um, I've just been messing around with this different philosophy. Um, primarily, the reason I want to do it this way um, is mainly because of the alignment that you get uh, for, your, for your D. And Isaiah... I don't think that route should have worked because Isaiah Simmons has really good man coverage and he has one step ahead on him. So I don't know why that route works so well because it's only a one-cut route, but somehow it still beats man-to-man -man so well. Uh, it is what it is. All right, here we're going to do a little something. Do a little cross, man. And he's still going to get that. We'll just user it. Take that with Sean T., to the crib. Let's see if we can get a little stop and go. And that was really bad stick work by me. I I was trying to cut back to the right, and I just I did not do a good job of executing that. So, mm -hmm. anywho. All right, so now we've got the ball. We're up seven zip. And let's see if we can not get a throw out of sack pick. And he is shedding like crazy on the outside, man. He is shedding me like crazy. He's got to have, like, he's got to have, like, edge threat on those guys. That's the one thing, like... I decided to stop running the O-line abilities, and I don't know if I would will continue to do that. But really, and there's a laser by Rich Gannon. You see, that's that's why this offense is so powerful. Like, yeah, I know it's just one play, but that one play really does open up everything else for your offense. And it looks like we're going to go ahead and get the quit here 
But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, if you want to get the full scheme, um, the full offense is in the description. It's by far um, the, my favorite offense that I've ever created just because of how simple it is and it's easy to use. And then also the defense is also in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Ebooks are in the description for you.